everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lydia, this is Nuki. Today we're going to be going through a beautiful mandala sequence that's targeted around tight hips. So it's all going to be flow movement based that looks towards opening your hip flexors and the psoas muscle. Hope you enjoy the sequence, let's come and meet on the mat. Take a moment now to arrive onto your mat. Don't allow any breath in or out to come into the body without you noticing it. Hands to the heart center as you start to reflect on the seed of the action, perhaps cultivating the wish to live each moment with the intention of not causing harm with our actions and words to those around us. Gently releasing the hands down and come onto all fours. We're now going to move through some circles of eight. So just gently shifting the weight forwards and backwards. Opening through the side body. Stretching the waist and the hips. Whenever you're ready, move across in the opposite direction. Come back to center, tuck the toes, lift the knees off the mat and back down. Knees off, back down, knees off and push back to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to pedal out the feet as you draw one heel up and lift the other heel down. Lengthen your hamstrings and take a few breaths in this pose. Bend the knees, make your way to the front of the mat, elbow to elbow as you sway from right to left. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Uncurl and make your way all the way up to standing. Inhale, arms out to the side and draw it back to the heart space. Reaching the arms up, gazing towards the thumbs, fold the chest over your thighs, waterfall straight down. Lengthen your spine. Place the hands down, make your way all the way back to a high plank position. Lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Snake your way up, shoulder blades together. Tuck the toes, push back to downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip, shine it high. Step the right foot outside of the right hand and open up into warrior two. Clasp the hands behind your back, lift your chest and proceed into humble warrior as you draw the crown of the head down towards your big toe. Lifting yourself back up, immediately travel to the back of the mat. Take a vinyasa here. Upward facing dog to your downward facing dog. Step the right foot forwards and come into lizard pose. 
The palms are on the inside of the right leg as you start to shift the weight backwards and forwards. You may lower down onto the forearms if you wish. You can keep the back toes tucked or release the knee down to the mat. Make sure that your knee is closely connected towards the shoulder here so you're really starting to open up into your hip flexor. Palms on the mat, tuck your toes and make your way back to down dog. Take a breath to stabilize. Right leg goes back up to the sky. Open the hip as you bend the knee. Drive it forwards and cartwheel straight out into warrior two. Hands behind your back, lift the chest. Dive deep into humble warrior, pull the fist away here. Lift yourself back up with a breath and travel back to the front of the mat. Take a vinyasa of your choice. Inhaling broad and through the chest, your up dog. And then tuck the toes, take a few breaths in. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bend the knees, step, jump, or float to the front. Lengthen spine, inhale, and fold. Reach the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana, Pranamasana. Arms out to the side and center back to the heart space. Reach the arms up, gaze to the thumbs, fold chest on thighs, Uttanasana. Make your way back to a plank pose as you lower through a vinyasa of your choice. Upward facing dog, lift the chest. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up to the sky, bend the knee, shine the hip up towards the sky. Left foot forwards, come straight out into warrior two. Hands behind your back, fist away, and dive deep into humble warrior. Inhale, coming back up. We're gonna move to the back of the mat now. Step back, vinyasa of your choice. Upward facing dog to your downward facing dog. Bring your left foot through outside of the left hand and come into your lizard pose. Shift the weight backwards and forwards, maybe lowering the back knee down and forearms come down. Really try and embody the physicality of a lizard here. Feel your tail, the back toes, reaching towards the back as you sink. Palms on the mat, let's step back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and exhale. Left leg goes up, moving as the knee shines up to the sky. Step it through, coming straight into warrior two. Arms behind the back, lift the chest. Head coming down towards the big toe, so come inwards rather than out. Lift the chest up, and we're going to travel to the front of the mat once more. Step it back, lower down. We're going to meet back in a downward facing dog. We're going to spend a few breaths there. Bend the knees, make your way to the front. Lift your spine halfway and fold. Reaching the arms all the way up and hands to the heart center. Let's 
reaching the arms up, and exhale, fold across the thighs. Lifting your chest halfway, we're going to step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in here and relax. Step the right foot forward, so we're going to proceed to pigeon pose. Make sure your back knee is straight, avoid the knee pointing out at an angle. You can stay on the palms of the hands or proceed to lower the chest and the forehead down towards the earth. Lifting the self back up, slowly making your way back to down dog. Moving across to the other side as you bring the left knee forwards, extending the right leg, proceeding to lower the chest and the forehead down into this restorative pigeon pose. Begin to lift and find yourself in a comfortable seat. We're going to continue opening up through the hips and the glutes here. So bring one knee shin parallel to the front of the mat and place the other shin directly above it. Try and keep both shins one on top of the other, fingertips back and open the chest. If you don't feel much, Feel free to send the chest forwards and come forwards instead. Guide yourself back up. We're going to shift to the other side. Maybe it's difficult to bring the knee directly above the foot, in which case just do your absolute best. Remember to stay happy in whichever posture you're in. Feel the opening sensation around your glute, the hips and the outside of your thigh. Lifting up, uncrossing the legs and coming to lie on the back, Taking your happy baby pose, your hands hold the edges of the feet. You can stay still or perhaps take a few rocks from side to side. Head and shoulders relax down to the earth. Begin to place the soles of your feet down into Supta Baddha Konasana, recline bound angle pose. You can rock the neck from side to side. Let go of any deep breathing here and just allow your body to settle. When it feels right, extend your legs into Shavasana, palms facing upwards. Allow the physical body to feel it's as though it's sinking down into the earth. Heels are heavy. Shoulders are heavy. Head is heavy whole body heavy. Gently moving fingers and toes, deepening the breath, knees into chest and rock a few rounds, finding yourself on the right side.
Gently guide the body back up to a comfortable seat. Notice how your body is feeling now. At the start of our practice, we took the time to cultivate a positive intention. At the end of our practice, we take the time to dedicate. May all our actions of body, speech and mind be in line with kindness and compassion always. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in today's practice, you guys. It was a pleasure to serve you. If you're enjoying the practices, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly classes to your inbox. In the meantime, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.